day, my friends. Hey, the other day I brought one of these bloody um, Karcher shop vac things. You know what? They reckon this thing will suck up almost anything. But let's see exactly how much shit this thing will suck up. Yeah! I mean, the bloody thing's alright, but it doesn't like sucking up big lumps of shit. But I mean, for 69 bucks, the thing definitely sucks. But you know what? They reckon this thing can actually suck up liquid. And that's really what I want. Because you know what? Some basket keeps spilling beer in my workshop. So I said to myself, I said to myself, Pete, for 60 odd bucks, there's no way this is going to suck up liquid without going kaboom. After the thing drunk all my friggin' beer, I started playing with the water sucker up a thing. And you know what I realised, my friends? The thing is just one big sucker. It doesn't pump the water out again. You gotta take the friggin' top off, and then you gotta manually empty the bloody drum. Oh, it stinks of beer in there, man. Woohoo! What about if you want to empty a swimming pool? Or maybe you've got a huge aquarium with big ass fish in it. Every time this bucket gets full, you gotta take this off, run outside, tip it outside, put this back on, stick your hose back in the water, fill up the bucket, take it outside, take this off. That's gonna take forever! So I thought to myself, I thought to myself, Pete, why don't we try and make this baby drain the liquid out on its own? That'll save you running backwards and forwards 400 million bloody times just to empty your swimming pool. Now before all you scientists out there get all hoity-toity about it, you're gonna say, Pete, don't do it, don't do it. Because as soon as you lose vacuum in the chamber, then it's not gonna suck the liquid up anymore. And if I'm gonna go and drill a big bastard hole in the bottom of it to drain it, then I basically f my vacuum cleaner. No. So if I drill a hole in the bottom of this, and I keep the water level above the hole, we should still have vacuum. And then when I don't want to use it as a water pump anymore, I could just turn it over, stick a bit of tape on the inside of it, and use it as a shop vac again. Or better still, I could use some garden hose fittings on it, and actually put a little tap on the bastard. Yeah. I'm friggin' soaked already, this thing's pissed out all over the place. Told you there was someone spilling beer in my shit. So let's have a look, see what bits I've got. yee Got an old hose gum thing. And I'm sure I had some hose fitting, uh -huh. hose fittings in here. yee <laughs> So I've got some old tap fittings and a hose fitting there garden hose and this old thing here so what we somehow got to do is put a watertight bung in here that i can screw one of these snap-on hose fittings to and then it should work hey <laughs> maybe how are you going to do that pete drill a hole in that let me think let me think let me think take this one here out screws in this one here put this in the inside here Drill a hole in here, the same size as this. Then use this on here as a big washer. That should work. Yeah, Grandma. So if we just measure them around there, <laughs> should have done this weeks ago. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Yep, you can see it. Yeah. All you gotta do now, Pete, is cut a hole exactly that right size. Let's not even take it down from the shelf. Yeah! Plug the basket in. I'm so excited! I'm about to lose control. Where did that bloody extension cord go? Yeah, I think I like it. Yeah! We'll use this little baby here. This machine here has actually got a built in compressor. Yeah! Saves me fucking around trying to hook up an airline. Now you say to yourself, Pete, why don't you just drill a hole in that bastard? Why do I want to drill a hole when I can play with fire? Yeah! 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! Haven't used this one for a while, guys. Yep, here we go. We're lighting up. Woohoo! Them boys light up, them boys light up, them boys light up, light up, light up. <laughs> Let's see if the basket will cut. Yeah! Oh, All right. <laughs> Turn the pound out of it, Pete. Turn the pound out of it. Dropped it to 15 amps, so I think we're a bit too eager. You know what? That's about as round as a square thing, Pete. We need it tight. So my missus keeps telling me anyway. Ah, basket. Basket, basket. Let's just trim that up a bit, my friends, without getting too carried away. Getting closer. Just this little piece here, I think, guys. Yeah! <laughs> it's about as tight as a tight thing. Oh. If you're interested in this plasma cutter here, the one that's running without a compressor, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video on it. It's pretty damn cool. No compressor needed. Oh, turn it up, mate. Turn it up. Yeah! Yeah! I love plasma cutters. Righty, Odie. Come on, Odie. Shut this bastard off. So we'll grab this thing here and stick it up the guts. Yeah! There she goes. This one here. And this one here, I think, like that, to give us a bit of... That'll give us something to screw against. Oh dear. Tighten them up. Yeah. I only see one problem with that, Pete. I don't think the hose thing is gonna fit on here. It might not put over that bloody lip. Let's have a go. <laughs> Yeehaw, Grandma! <laughs> Precision engineering at its best. Yeehaw! So I made up the little hose. One end goes on here. Yeehaw! And this end here, we should be able to control the flow of liquid. What do you reckon? Yeehaw! I'm so excited! Uh huh! <laughs> Let's use these to hold the bastard up because it um, because it doesn't exactly fit properly. Yeah! <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So here we go. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Get on there, you basket. Where's my hose? Where's my hose? Nothing worse than losing your hose, guys. Here's me hose. Here we go, here we go, here we, here's my bucket of water. Yeah! Woohoo! Turn the basket on! Yeah! than that holy crap maybe my theory didn't work let's take this off 
Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I knew it would work, guys. <laughs> Just a little bit of a prostate problem there to start off with. Watch this. Yeah! So, so let's turn the bastard back on. Woohoo! You know what I found out, guys? The suction in the machine stops the water from coming out the bottom until you turn the bastard off. Well, my friends, that's how not to turn your shop vac into a bloody water pump. Yeah! Same as usual, guys. If you like my videos, remember to subscribe. And all you guys that brought me a coffee, that's friggin' awesome. I love it. it helps lubricate me in the workshop. And tune in next week for another useless video. <laughs> I honestly thought that might work. <laughs>